The Goldfinger. As with any review, this may contain spoilers. The movie is okay. The story is set in Hong Kong towards the end of the British colonial rule. The film stars Tony Leung as a cutthroat business elite who uses the stock market to manipulate the system in order for his company to be worth billions of dollars and build an empire. Andy Lau plays an ICAC investigator who makes it his mission to uncover the criminal dealings of Leung's character and find enough evidence to prosecute him. My issue with the movie is it was trying to be a little like The Wolf of Wall Street with scenes of over the top business meetings with girls coming in and dancing on the table and other similar scenarios. In doing so, the character of Tony Leung in particular didn't feel fully fleshed out. Towards the end of the film, many of the business partners that Leung's character had were being killed off. The movie never showed Leung's character as that type of person. He was shown as greedy but not violent. Obviously, one could say when a person's freedom is being jeopardized, that person could be willing to do anything, including murder. I wish the film had shown scenes of that character having that type of side to him. Another part of the movie that could have used more storytelling was the relationship between Ling's character and his assistant. When he initially hired her, he put all his companies under her name. It was weird that there was no hesitation on her part. That aspect of the film seems like something that could have been interesting to explore. One thing the movie was successful in showing was how corrupt we could become when we pursue the almighty dollar and leave our morals and integrity behind. If you enjoy financial crime thrillers, this may be worth watching. Thank you for watching and check out my other reviews. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the movie. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. See you in the next review.